my name is Tanawat. I'm from Beta Satellite. I'm making this video in English language in order for me to speak directly with my international client and customer regarding our new satellite product, which is the KU Band LMB. Which is the feed horn. As you may know, this is not new product. People in the region has been using it to watch ASTV and IPM channels. But this year, we are putting it out to international market like Myanmar, Laos because we try to resolve the problem that are faced by people who watch NFS6 channel on smaller satellite dish by talking about smaller satellite dish I'm talking about dishes that have less than 150 to 160 cm in diameter for the purpose of this video I am going to refer to dishes that have less than 150 to 160 cm in diameter as smaller satellite dish. Smaller satellite dish they are quite useless after the uh, Typhoon 5, Typhoon 6 which already they have last month dish that has been exported from Thailand to your country comes in many shapes, many sizes and they have many different dishes. Dishes are cheap, they are portable, they are easy to install. However, they have certain weaknesses that couldn't be avoided if you use the smaller satellite dishes as the means to receive TV signal. Satellite dishes are weak, both signal wise and physical wise. It is impossible for you to watch any television during the bad uh, weather season, especially the upcoming monsoon season in Myanmar. Satellite dish are weak in many physical ways, especially if you live in a remote area where you have uh, poor weather condition almost all the time. Uh, you will have very bad signal reception and you have to change the equipment all over and all over again throughout the year in order for you to get the television channel that you want to watch. Get all of the problem that you have with smaller satellite dish. If you use our 160 cm uh, satellite mesh dish that we already have in the market, well, they are built to last and they are very strong. Uh, whatever weather condition will not affect the signal reception in general. The quality is very good. Get yeah, all the trouble that you have with uh, the smaller satellite dish. If you use a 160 cm mesh dish for your satellite reception, whatever band that you need, uh, in general you're only using the C band and KU band. Well, I will show you how to incorporate both of them in one satellite dish so it saves all the trouble. Our satellite dishes are built to last, so the lifespan of it would be about 5 to 10 years. I've been using mine for almost uh, 12 years now without any trouble. Oh, so 160 cm mesh dish are very flexible for whatever type of satellite signal reception that you require to have. Well, I know that certain Burmese states, even you know, especially our customer over there, they prefer to receive a certain channel which is the Democratic Voice of Burma. 160 cm mesh dish. You might wonder how it is possible for you to watch the DVB channel or the Democratic Voice of Burma. Well, if you are living in Vienna, the Democratic Voice of Burma is being broadcast from Oslo in Norway. Uh, we are AppStar 7 satellite and we are NSS6 satellite. The original method is the AppStar 7 reception that are being used utilizing the uh, C band transmission. So you have to delegate the uh, C band LNB a little bit further away from Taikom 6 in order to receive the channel. That is the original method. And the second method is to receive the DVB channel through the Rebroadcasting via the NFS6 satellite. The KU band reception with the C band reception, you're gonna have 400 channels to choose from, 400 satellite channels. Additionally, you have two DVB channels for you to watch the Democratic Voice of Burma. One is from the AFSA 7, another is from the NFS6. Sound um, magical to you, but is this very logical? Because if you watch the satellite channel, you will see that Taikom 6, NSS6 and AppStar 7 are closely aligned 
within the proximity of one another that means down below on the surface of the earth if you put the satellite dish up large enough like 160 cm match dish that we currently have the, in the market you can receive all three of them with one dish or you can all, we usually package our product the M89 receiver with the C band uh, and the 160 cm match dish together and sell it in bundle this M89 DVBS satellite receiver is loaded with 400 channels that you need and it also has 19 satellite settings that you can satellite choose. Receiver here, our satellite receiver has preloaded with uh, BISKI channel setting, SID, whatever that you need has already been installed here from the factory. You only need to couple it with uh, the small thing here. This KU band LNB universal type in order to increase your channel reception from 254 channel to 400 channels. G band LNB comes in two different types of packaging. One is the original packet. This contains only the LNB uh, for you to receive the NSL6 KU band uh, whatever satellite that you might need. Another is especially geared up for NSS 6 reception. Here is the package. A few more dollars expensive, but you have the dissect switch, you have the extending arm for you uh, to install on the mesh dish. You see what I'm talking about? Uh, let's see how all this works. I will show you. The satellite dish that you might already have at home the C band. KU band, LNB, the extending arm. You can see that there's two input here the KU band and the C band input, and here's the output that go to the receiver that you put it in the door. I have already removed the cap, but actually, you can you know hide this off this thing here in a cap here the plastic cap that prevents the rain, the moisture from entering into the LNB. So let's see how many channel can we get with this type of setting and talk about you see here's the channel 3 from Tycom 6 and we are going back so almost 400 channel going to watch the DVB which is in 376 okay this is how it works so have fun Oh, yeah.